boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm for Classic and welcome to Pin Chart. So for today, what I do have in here is Yakuza 4 Remastered, another game developed by Ryoga Gotoku Studio and ported over uh, by Keylock to the PC. So this game it is using their in-house engine and I've decided to use this very start, very start of the game to demo a little bit of the differences between Yakuza 4 and Yakuza 3. Well, in fact, I'm not really sure about that because uh, I haven't been in rainy moments in Yakuza 3, for example. I just tried a little bit of the game and Yakuza 4, as soon as you start, you get this rainy environment, which is fine because they actually added screen space reflections to the remaster, which makes it, uh, which makes the game to look a little bit better or a little bit more actual. So there are reflections all over the place and that's fine. So for today, uh, I want to test the GTX 1650 Super and see how it performs and if it is more demanding or less demanding than the Yakuza 3 Remastered. So both of the two games can be, uh, I mean, they are included in the same package of the Yakuza Remastered collection, but I just wanted to make sure if they are performing more or less the same. So graphic settings are exactly the same to Yakuza 3, so no different options in here. I was expecting to find an option for decreasing or disable screen space reflection, but that's not really the case. And well, that's about it. So requirements are different though. The minimum requirements are, I, I would say that they are less than Yakuza 3 for some reason, but the recommended they are higher. All right, but the performance it is mostly the same. So at 1080p, the game it is locked at 60 frames per second. Even if you disable V-Sync or try to unlock the frame rate, your maximum frame rate will be always 60 frames per second in this game. So 1080p ultra settings, it is just fine at 60. So same can be said about 1440p, which also runs at 60 frames per second at ultra settings. So there is nothing to say about it and performs exactly just like Yakuza 3. So same performance so far, but what about 4K? Does it perform the same to Yakuza 3 remasters? Well, the answer is kind of. So it is more of the same. All right, at 4K median settings, it also delivers 60 frames per second. And at 4K at high or ultra settings, it performs above 30. The difference is at 4K median settings, I saw the GPU usage being very high at around 95% to 99%. So it was just there very, very, very close to dropping below 60 frames per second. And it didn't happen. But I believe that is mostly because the game, since the game now uses screen space reflections, it might be more demanding because at median settings, you just don't disable screen space reflections, they are there. And I believe for that reason, the game might be more demanding than the Yakuza 3 in these specific moments. But still, I was able to get 60 frames per second at 4K, so it just runs exactly the same to Yakuza 3, all right, the remaster. It's just the difference is that at 4K medium settings, I saw that the game was using more GPU. So I'm not really sure if this is a thing only at that resolution or the rest. All right, so yeah, the performance, it is great. So my recommendation, it is if you play at 1080p, just go with maximum settings. If you play at 40, 40p, just go with maximum settings. And if you play at 4K and you want 60 frames per second, which I do recommend, just go with median settings, but put the texture quality on high. And that's pretty much about it. Now, the question is, how about the game? How does it change compared to Yakuza 3? So I don't have too much to say, I just played a little bit of Yakuza 3 and played a little bit of Yakuza 4 and I, I just needed to read a little bit around the internet and uh, the too long didn't read thing is that this is essentially more of the same, alright? It's just like Yakuza 3 with uh, some revamps into the game so combat now feels more smoother and less clunky. It's still there are a lot of attacks that are just pretty much the same thing and same animations as Yakuza 3, but it feels more responsive, more smoother, less clunky. So it's it's an improvement you see over Yakuza 3. And it's also a different story, which is a good thing. And also for the first time, I think on Yakuza series, Yakuza 4 introduces 
different playable characters so you just started with this guy and then later into the game you get access to your main character from Yakuza 3 so and there are some switches according to some reviews that I've been seeing that uh, the characters just switch back and forth so it's it's a different story overall and a small improvement over the Yakuza 3 and that's expected since uh, Yakuza 3 initially it was released in 2009 and the Yakuza 4 was released one year later in 2010 so it, they just add one year to improve and obviously they didn't really improve that much compared to Yakuza 3 but still the improvements were nicely enough and the new story it is fine so if you wanted to add more than Yakuza 3 to play you can now go with Yakuza 4 so I will say the same thing as I said before from Yakuza 3 which is this game costs 20 euros on Steam which is exactly the same price as Yakuza 3 and the same price as Yakuza 5 although if you buy uh, all the bundles together, I mean the Yakuza Remastered collection, which includes Yakuza 3, 4 and 5, at the time of this video it should cost you about 40 euros. So it's like uh, pay for two games and uh, take the free games, uh, and that's about it. Alright, so I think it's a nice deal if you want to complete all the Yakuza's. And uh, if you think that 20 euros it is expensive and you are not really sure if you will like Yakuza, you can also try Xbox Game Pass, which costs 10 euros per month. But you, if you never tried Xbox Game Pass, you just pay 1 euro and you get access to a ton world of games and the Yakuza Remastered Collection is there. So you can try the game and if you like, you can also complete the other games and continue to be subscribed to Xbox Game Pass or just buy the games at uh, another place, you Steam or any other store that you want. So guys, I think that's all that I want to talk about Yakuza 4 Remastered. Hope you keep enjoying the rest of the gameplay and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye.ああ、こんな高い酒飲んじゃって。こんなの好み酒じゃ市場価格の4倍は取られるぜ。誰だお前。うん。ボーイって感じじゃねえな。ああ、うめえ。こんないい酒浴びるように飲むのって本当の酒
秋山さん何やってんすかお前一人かえあはい兄貴はまだ時間がかかるみたいなんでそうか何てめえらごちゃごちゃ喋ってんだそうか分かったぞ俺らをはめて戦争を始める気だなさっきから何言ってんだあんたうるせえこうなりゃこっちも焼けよお前らが誰だろうと知ってこっちゃに全員ぶっ殺してやるぜてめえ人んちの島で暴れといて何言ってんだこれ来んなお前はえこれは俺の喧嘩だこの店で起こったことは全部俺とこいつらだけの問題だ上野とか金村関係ねえ秋山さん<笑>やっぱり俺らの素性もバレバレってことかい俺はこの町でスカイファイナンスって店やってる金貸しだこの喧嘩俺が勝手にやってるだけのことあんたたちがムカついてから絡んだだけだ組織がどうこうは関係ねえてめえなめた口聞きやがって<笑>いいね。気合い入ってきたみたいじゃないか。久々に本気の喧嘩が楽しめそうだ。ムカつく野郎で。いいだろう。そのわかりやすい挑発乗ってやるぜ。こっちはいつでもいいぜ。行くぞ、こんなじゃ行くぞ申し訳ありませんもしもしええそうですねもしもしえ
ressens. あんたがくれようとしていたチャンスどうやら俺はもらい損ねたようだそれじゃガルさん刺激余分な発砲は一切なしこりゃあ殺す気満々で撃ってるね逃げなくていいんですかえ犯人はさっき走ってった男ですよねこのままだとあなたが警察に捕まることになると思うんですがあんた敵の方ですよねあなたまあそうだな警察ってのは嫌なやつが多いとこです捕まったら無理やり自白させられてしまうかもしれませんよ社長花ちゃんあちょっと手遅れでしたねお前か動くな動くな俺動くなと言ってるだろういやおい違うってういや俺じゃないんだって無駄な抵抗はやめろ杉内さんの尋問は半端ないと思いますんで気合い入れて頑張ってくださいそれじゃ暴れるなお前動くな杉内ってあのあいいおいちょっと待てあんたいやだから違うんだってさっきのところに聞いてよいいねえ社長話しゃ